guys, so today's video, the title may seem very negative and I just, I, I'm not trying to be negative, I'm not trying to, you know, first world problems. I just kind of experienced something today that I just sort of want to literally just talk about. Um, like I'm not angry about it anymore, I'm, I'm like over it at this point, but I'm also curious at the same time if people like me experience similar stuff. So I'm currently working at the moment, but my first shift is almost over. So I'm going to pick up some food right now. We're heading off to Chili's. Chili, baby, back ribs. I don't think that has been their slogan. I don't think that's ever been their slogan. <laughs> We're heading up to, off to Chili's to get some food. And then I figured, um, you know, we kind of had like a DoorDash story time not too long ago on this channel. And this is technically another DoorDash story time, but this is not the first time this has happened to me and this will not be the last time this has happened to me so it doesn't necessarily mean it's just because of a DoorDash experience so I, I'm still gonna put DoorDash but just understand that and quite frankly it happens to me all the time and that's why I want to make a video because I simply want to have a conversation about it if we can if you guys you know go over to my other social medias and comment we can have a conversation about it but it's just something that um, I'll get into what it what it was about, but it was just one of those things that you, I kept noticing happening to me in social situations, and I'm like, is this a coincidence sort of thing? And then after, like, it kept happening, it kept happening, it keeps happening, it keeps happening. Um, there's got to be more to it, and I just I want to talk about it. That's all. So let me go get some grub. We're gonna chit chat. I guess it's kind of a mukbang at the same time. And I will talk to you guys super soon. Quick update, but I'm actually pretty excited about it. So I am actually almost at Chili's, so I'm not gonna turn all the way around. I'm just gonna pick up my food real quick. But I did just get another quick delivery. I have like 15 minutes before my first shift ends, and of course I got an order. So I'm gonna take it real quick. But the reason that I'm excited is because this story time revolves around the place that it wants me to go to pick up the food for this delivery. I was just there a couple hours ago. It was my first delivery for the day and we're going back. So this time when I go in, I'm going to be recording because I am hoping to catch proof about what I'm talking about and to make me feel maybe that I'm not crazy or overthinking anything. So that's what I'm gonna do and hopefully my point will be proven. We'll see. Oh, so I got cut off um, <clears throat> cause he asked me like what was on the order and I was like, oh shoot. So I had to stop recording to pull up my app again. So that's why I just like abruptly stopped. Um, but the lady wasn't there. There's this particular lady, like everyone else is pretty okay. I get ignored there a lot. Like a lot of people will just like walk by me. That happens every time. But there's this one particular lady um, that we'll talk about as soon as I get this delivery taken care of. I've got my food, but I gotta go drop this. This is just going to the mall. So I know how to get there take me two minutes. The mall is a really good place for us to sit and eat. I'm just trying to find a parking spot. Like, let's say I went under here because it is kind of hot. No, this is terrible. Th that's terrible lighting. Okay, let's find somewhere else. Actually, if I pull to the end of the parking lot right here, oh, that's good. And it's like away from everybody. Okay, so I'll have to make my delivery and I'm gonna go grab a drink while I'm in there because I don't have one and a fork from the food court as well. Just inconspicuously grab a fork. Um, do I have everything? I got the food. Yeah, I'll be right back. So we're finally ready to eat. Um, to be honest, I have to use the restroom and I forgot to use it while I was in there until I was pretty much already outside. So there's that. I'm gonna take off my jacket. Oh, cause it's... Whew. 60, nope, 59 degrees out, which is not bad, but I'm wearing a uh, jean skirt as well. So I just wanted to um, talk to you guys and kind of have like another door dash story time, which is always exciting. Um, really quick though, I, I was gonna announce this on a vlog, but 
I thought it was pretty important. <clears throat> and I don't know like how long my vlogs are gonna take to kind of get not caught up like I'm not that far but they're like always a couple weeks behind um so with the movie that I went that I drove down to Georgia for their trailer was supposed to be released March 31st that's been pushed back until May so I haven't gotten a date but I got a month and then their movie premiere will be in October so I told TJ that we need to prepare for calling out of work and getting the time off and preparing a trip down to Georgia in October, which is exciting because it's TJ's birthday in October. It's our wedding anniversary in October, Halloween in October, good things happen. So real quick, I'm gonna open up my food. Wow, it made a mess everywhere. I ended up getting the honey chipotle chicken crispers and it comes automatically with fries and rice, fries and corn, but I got rice pilaf Oh, that's the rice peel off. That's the mashed potato instead. And then that's what the honey chicken fingers look like. Honestly, I should have gotten a knife too because I forgot that. I always need one with these. Oh. Mm. And then I should have said a small, but a large, <laughs> a large um, orange soda. So anyways, what kind of inspired this chit chat video was my experience this morning. I was explaining you know that I was already there once today. TJ loves this place because it's also it's like hibachi sushi bar. He's super into it. I'm eh, my friends want to go great. They have chicken and steak, but I'm not like a seafood person at all. So sushi doesn't appeal to me. So anyways, we go once in a while and every time I've been there, even as a customer, I never really like it's always been a mediocre experience and I always felt that like my husband's drinks would always be filled and mine would be always be empty. I was never like catered to there as a customer and I'm a very easy customer in my opinion. So all I really expect out of anybody is like the bare minimum and to be polite, you know? So I already haven't had good experiences there. Now being a door dasher, you know, I go in to pick up orders and deliver it to customers. Um, there's a couple places that I don't like going to and I decline orders for. And if this keeps happening, I'm gonna start declining orders from this too because, so this is what happened that sparked this, conversa this conversation. Now, if I come on here looking like a white girl I am Hispanic but I'm looking like a white girl and I say I'm discriminated against for being a white girl like I am gonna get the most hate I've ever gotten in my entire life so let's not say that um I feel like I'm constantly not really discriminated against like that's not the word that I'm looking for but there's this particular woman there. I don't know what I've done to her. But she must be a manager of some sorts because every time I see her, she's always, I don't know, she just kind of looks like a manager, like the way she's dressed. She just kind of looks like a higher up there. And today, I've had past experiences where I've gone in my, from my order and she was just kind of rude but that's just some people, you know? Like, they might come off rude and they don't mean to, but like, you know, time and time and time again, I'm kind of like, maybe you're just a mean person, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna stop eating for a second because this part is important. So I walk into the restaurant. As soon as I walk in, there's like the hostess bar and this particular woman is right there. And I say, hi, how you doing? I said, I'm here for a pickup. She goes, your order's not ready yet. What? <laughs> like, mm, did I even tell you which order was mine? You know, so immediately I was kind of just like, okay. Like, I just said, okay. And I sat down. Didn't tell her the name of the order. Didn't I'm like, this girl wants to play like this. We're going to play like this. I'm like, this girl wants to play like this. Already I was kind of like, whoa, all right. Like, we've already had past experiences where you haven't been the nicest person to me. Like, already she's clapping at me so I say okay and I sit down on one of the chairs in their little lobby area 
And then she goes, what was the order's name? Now she asks, I said, Christina. She says, okay, not ready. I said, yep. <laughs> like, I was so frustrated. This woman was being so rude with me. Just so rude. No reason. So she, uh, she says for the second time that the order is not ready. So I say, yep. And I continue sitting there. I'm not asking her about the order. I'm not, I'm waiting, you know? So I'm sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. 10 minutes go by. There's like waiters and waitresses that keep walking by me that never saw mine and the manager's conversation. So with that being said, they wouldn't have known that I was already being taken care of. So like I was ignored by at least two waiters and waitresses, which it happens. You know what I mean? I, I've worked in the food industry. I've ignored people unintentionally. It happens. So I'm not like throwing them under the bus. But let's continue the story. So one of the particular people who had ignored me was a waiter. So now there's the manager and the waiter and me involved in this story. So manager is still doing whatever she's doing, waiting for my order. I'm just sitting there looking around. People keep walking by me, ignoring me. And then about 10 minutes after waiting, mind you, during this particular delivery, I had two deliveries, so I had to pick up from there, then go somewhere else, and then drop off both deliveries, right? So 10 minutes go by, another gentleman walks in, another customer walks in. A, he's greeted immediately by the manager. She says, hello, where I got, your order's not ready yet, or it's not done yet, whatever I got. Then she asks, you know, what she said, then she says, Oh, hi, how are you? What was the name on your order? When he tells her that she he's, he's picking up, she says, Oh, okay. She says, okay, Brendan, couple more minutes. Okay. And he says, okay. So I'm like, why does he walk in? He gets greeted. No, like wasn't told you're not ready yet. Your order's not ready yet. Like so bluntly, He's told a couple more minutes, which I, I would have been okay with a couple more minutes. And then um, she, I don't know, it was just like completely day and night between how she greeted me and treated me and then how she greeted and treated him. He gets his food. Oh no, so, he, so at this point, it's me and this new guy waiting in the lobby. He doesn't wait long at all, like, three minutes tops, gets his food, which he could have ordered before me. Like, I get it. I do get it. Um, he gets his food. Not only is he given his food, before the food even comes, that one particular waiter who kept ignoring me comes over, sees the guy standing there, asks the guy if he's all set. Guy says yes, and then the waiter walks away. We're standing right next to each other. So I was really frustrated because I was like, what the heck? Not only did the manager just be so extremely rude to me the moment I walked in, I, I barely had three words come out of my mouth before I was treated that way. And then even the waiter can't even ask me, like, why are you asking this guy if he's all set when you saw me standing there? We've made eye contact about five times now. And you didn't ask me if I was waiting. The guy leaves. Now a new woman customer comes in. She gets the exact same treatment as the guy. Not as me, as the guy. They greet her. They ask, uh, she says, you know, I'm picking up. They ask her her name. They say, okay, just a couple more minutes. Like, it'll be ready. Assure her of her order. She says, okay. And she stands over in the corner, like, couple feet away from me I, I get called up to the manager I give I'm so frustrated at this point that I don't say anything that's what I do if I get really angry I just get really quiet <laughs> um so it's just really quiet she told me total like I just kind of put my card on the table um I was just trying to let her know that she really kind of irked to me without saying anything um and then she's like okay she's like okay thank you so much like have a great day and I'm like yep yeah. <laughs> I, ah! I was so frustrated and it's such first world problems like I'm not coming on here uh, sorry let me keep eating before it gets cold I'm not trying to come on here and say oh boohoo me somebody was rude to me it's fine it really it's it's cool uh it was just like 
every time I go in there, that's how I'm treated. And that wasn't the first time that's happened. I've mentioned that to TJ. I remember us going out. It was us as a family. Ella was there too. And I just felt like, again, I don't remember if it was the hostess or the waitress or who it was, but I felt like I was being so completely ignored there. But it doesn't just happen there, though. And that's why I wanted to share that story and then kind of have a little conversation about it is because it's not just this one particular restaurant that treats me that way, but like I notice it all the time. I notice it all the time, the way that people treat me versus the way that they treat other people. And I'm like, let me look in the mirror for a second. Like, do I look mean? <laughs> do I look unapproachable in my makeup? Am I highlight too blinding? Because I might have added a little too much to it. A little bit. I don't know. I'm also hot, so. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And I've mentioned it to my mom, and she deals with the same thing. She's like, yeah. She's like, I'll just go places, and people just don't treat me the right way or the same way. And it's just... <laughs> I don't know. I... I get two different kinds, of, I get a couple different kinds of reactions from people. A, I get people who are not shy and they'll come up to me and compliment my makeup or compliment my outfit. Now, obviously, this is when I've gotten ready. There are people who will watch me from a distance, but then if I make eye contact with them, they'll look away. So they're like trying to avoid me seeing that they're watching me. And then I'll have other people that just treat me like straight up garbage. And I don't know if it's because of them or because of me but because there's just been there's been too many coincidences guys like i i believe in after so many coincidences like it's not a coincidence anymore how many times can i say coincidence i don't know i was just frustrated like i said i i'm really over it i just did another delivery there the woman wasn't there it was just a guy it was fine i'm trying to be like resilient and kind of come back from that kind of stuff but oh if anything it just hurts my feelings like I'm not angry I'm just a little like hurt I don't know it's like why is it that I can just walk in somewhere and be treated I don't know I guess that's the majority of the world's problems today huh <laughs> so that's not gonna be answered today but I also had this crazy, I'll tell you another quick uh, DoorDash experience because it wasn't really story time worthy, but it is something that happened that actually almost made me like want to quit doing DoorDash. Um, I did a delivery maybe about a week ago and everything was going fine. I picked up the food fine, put in the address to go to the woman's house. When I arrived at the location that the address brought me to, I just knew it wasn't right. There was, there, I wasn't on the right road. So I called her and she says, oh no, there's like two of that road in the same area. So you're on this one. You got to go on this one. Long story short, this woman and I were going back and forth, back and forth on the phone. She's confused in the ever living poop out of me with directions because I'm telling her, I told her at one point, I'm heading this way down this road. This business is coming up to me on my right. Is that the right way I'm supposed to go? Then she tells me no. So then I do a U-turn and then tell her, okay, so I'm not heading that way anymore. Now I'm heading toward this way. Then she's like, why are you heading toward that way? And I'm like, you're confusing me. I said, you just... I told you I was going this way and you said that was wrong so I can only go that way and she's like no no turn around it was a flipping nightmare and at one point I was on the phone with her and like I could just hear in her voice how frustrated she was and I'm like ma'am I am not trying to frustrate you I said but I also don't want to be yelled at on the phone like I, I can't find you. you are not on the map Billy. you're not on the GPS and at the time I was delivering like in a town that I don't live in so I'm not like I could get to one place there, but, you know, I don't know my way around. Oh. 
this job. To be honest, I know I've been around like a million and a half jobs over the past 10 years. I don't know how much longer this one's gonna last. I'm still trying to do a, I still want to do that stupid project with the whole follow me around door dashing. I just, I need another camera to do so. Anyways guys, I'm not done done, but I have to use the bathroom now. <laughs> that soda definitely is not helping my situation. So I'm going to head back home. I got about an hour and a half to kill before my next shift anyways, so I gotta go home and feed Arrow and all that fun stuff. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again on another crazy DoorDash story time. This job, I'm telling you. I feel like I got some sauce on me. Anyways, guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.